Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Cam, let's talk some stocks. It's uh, February 25th, 1.22 p.m., so 20 minutes after the close, a little later than uh, usual. Uh, we'll just jump right into Thinkorswim. Uh, so, bloody day in the market all around. Uh, rising bond yields uh, kind of caused a tech sell-off. Some people are speculating that, you know, the the Reddit-fueled retail investor is basically doing the same cycle that happened last month, right? So when GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry and those ran on uh, Monday and Friday. The stock market's tanked. Uh, people are speculating that the uh, hedge funds and all these other companies are uh, basically shorting GameStop through uh, ETFs. So they had to sell off those ETFs, which causes you know a chain reaction as they're leveraged, and uh, more people had to sell stock. So, um, but massive down day. The S and P 500's down, you know, two and a half. The Nasdaq's down over three percent, almost four. Uh, the Dow's down, you know, 1.75. They're doing a little better with bond yields being value stocks, whatnot. So some money's probably rotating in there. And then uh, IWM versus the Russell 2000, uh, you know, down 4%. So huge down day all around. Uh, so if we go in, we'll just go right to GameStop here. So hourly chart. Um, so area this morning, right? I talked about if we can get through this 175. Probably give a move up to 170, or excuse me, up to 225, over 200, but it didn't happen. Um, so we got a spike right before the open. Uh, so this spike wasn't at the open; it still off happened. This was like five minutes before the open. We go there in a five-minute chart, but um, sold off right away. So profit taking. As soon as the bell happened, you know, some retail investors don't have access to pre-market trading. So bell opens. Everybody has their uh, sell orders in, so it just knocks the price down. Found some support down here, right off a uh, hundred bucks. Basically, I think it was low as what 101, and then drove all the way back up, trying to get past this uh, 186 38 fib, but couldn't do it. And then sold off hard into the close. And on the the, the close, I talked about on Twitter. Uh, so when it this 11 o'clock hour, right? So a huge pin bar right off this 22, so that. You know, it could be seen as a, like a bullish sign. It's holding this moving average. Got to sell up, close right back at the nine, and then the next candle is just a massive sell off. And once it broke this uh, 115, 23, 6 fib, I put out another tweet, you know, saying this $100 area was going to be very important to hold going forward. If you go into the five minute chart, you'll see it pinged off that right around 100, right at the close. And uh, got a little pop after hours, but. Moving in the nine, looks like we're going to keep moving lower now until tomorrow. Um, so there are going to be a ton of options expiring tomorrow. I, mean, I haven't looked up what exact strike prices are, but I'm sure um, a lot of people ex executed those uh, today as they you know crossed 100. I'm sure there's a ton sitting at 100. It's probably a lot sitting at 90. Uh, so let's see if it uh, excuse me causes that uh, gamma squeeze. Then we'll go to AMC, which I talked about uh, is going to have a harder time going higher just based on the volume up above. And, you know, this this uh, 14, 12 to 14 dollar area, more of this consolidation up there. But uh, we couldn't even get over this 11, 17 fib, which we were at, you know, in pre market. Couldn't get back above these aftermarket pre market highs. Uh, so basically, you have a double top here off 4 a.m. high. You know, basically the same pattern in the morning as as GameStop, right? So we get the sell off, bounce up, but not not anywhere near as strong as uh, GameStop at all. And then really rolled over hard, and then closing down here in the eight. So we actually it did get below uh, uh, being down more than ten per ten percent on the day. So SSR will be in effect for tomorrow. Uh, but if you look at this eight dollar area, if I remember correctly, that's where. You know, there's a big, big volume level here. So hopefully this area will hold the 772 fib going tomorrow. And we could look for a move higher on Friday. Uh, I mean, really, those are the, the two main stops that I looked at today. I didn't really even look at uh, BlackBerry, Bed Bath & Beyond. I was watching Cost a little bit in the morning. Um, it has, you know, some... Pretty good consolidation wave here, you know, higher lows, lower high, kind of right here on this one, but still really holding this $28 range pretty well. Uh, but 
once it broke through down here, it just could get back, back above that 22 for a, a long time, right? Short spike, couldn't get it above that resistance previously and rolled over. But we did have some uh, afternoon strength in it when uh, GameStop started taking off again. Just about everything about this 845 time frame was out on the uh, five minute RSI. And then we got like this huge crawl right back up. Buying pressure came in, but rolled over. Um, I, I don't. I mean, this is, cost is plays totally going to be dependent on GameStop for tomorrow. I think AMC is probably in the same bracket. Uh, so everything that's going to rely on those is going to be on GameStop and what happens there. Uh, other mover today. Uh, yeah, that's right. CDXC, right? So just massive spike here from the daily. Uh, so it had, had been curling up, right? So it pinged off the 22 on the 12th. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red or red, eight green bars in a row, and then massive volume today, right? So volume in here down to three three million was the highest, and then today 117 million, and this was strong basically the entire day until you know the last hour got the sell off area. I didn't really see it uh, this morning. I uh, didn't wasn't on my scanner or anything. I was watching till till it hit about like the 18 bucks, and then. Uh, I was looking elsewhere, and it's 9.30 hours, probably making breakfast, actually. I think I made breakfast about 9.15 this morning. So on this pullback would have been a good area to enter. Um, but having a great aftermarket move right now, and then there wasn't any news out for today. Um, there was that they had the study out yesterday for COVID. And then if you see here, uh, there's no price justify, justifying it. And then there's another one that says that this nutrient recover faster in study. So how... Whether or not like that's a true catalyst, I don't know. But they also had a uh, um, equity raise, you know, earlier in the week. So that that could have been an issue with uh, uh, basically the price action, right? So there, if you look at here, like raise twenty five million via equity at a twenty two percent discount. So um, that's usually not a huge positive uh, stock sentiment, right? So a twenty two percent discount is pretty big. Uh, allowing investors to get in, you know, to supply money to the company. But it's up after hours, looking pretty strong. And then just go to the long term chart. Uh, we're basically way outside of it at all. Come on. You know, it goes back farther. Okay, so let's go to the monthly. So 2008, all right, 15 was the previous high. So we're well above that. Now we're up above this 161 fib. So We'll see if it uh, can stay up in the after hours or if we can find a base around this $20 level, this 127 where we tried to close at today. And then uh, from here, let's just go to Bitcoin real quick. There's just two real talking points on it today. <clears throat> um, so I mentioned this morning, tried to get above this. Uh, it was moving higher when I made that video this morning. I need to stop talking about it because every time I talk about it, it basically does the opposite. Eventually it runs into resistance and fails, and that's what happened today. Try to get up above 52, 2K, hit 52.079, and then just a big sell off all day. Uh, so we'll see if it can, you know, bottom out here. Hopefully above this 48K area. If it doesn't, probably it's going to go down and try to retest 46. But if it stays above 48, we might get a double bottom action here and then look to move higher. But if we go back to Think or Swim real quick, the, uh, <coughs> the two companies that had news on it or had you know crypto related news today were SOS um, so bad news for them is they did a stock offering uh, right at 6 a.m. this morning so they announced extra or they exercised warrants for 96 million so dropped 11 percent and then you can see sold off even more down 20 percent closing at six bucks and then they also you know signed a you know try to boost the price back up later at 8 a.m. you know cons construction cloud crypto mining center in China you know hydropower station 3500 sets of crypto mining rigs right so uh, just trying to pump the price back up but you know Bitcoin is falling so it didn't really help and then the other one was Ebon eBay International so they um, put out some oops yeah that's what I want uh, they put out a news that they're 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 going to launch uh, Litecoin and Dogecoin uh, mining. So 
this expanding into the different crypto market. You, know, you might have saw the news too that uh, Elon Musk is going to be investigated by the SEC for his Dogecoin comment. So we'll see what happens there. And that also was like, when that happened, it also corresponded like perfect timing to when like GameStop and some others uh, started tanking. But uh, just going off eBay here, so when that news came out at 6 a.m., so went from 7 to 8, all the way up to the 8, 5, pulled back into the 9, you know, held this 38 level on the open and then pushed up to the 8, 9, and then just the uh, overwhelming Bitcoin price reversal off that 52K level just sent it down all day, and uh, but still managed to stay green, so we'll see what happens uh, going into the weekend for Bitcoin because Bitcoin does like to move over the weekend. So that's the... Uh, Stock market action I was paying attention to today. Um, didn't get the fireworks I was expecting out of the uh, Reddit Wall Street Bets plays, but who knows what's in store for tomorrow. Let me know what you think in the comments. I uh, hope you got something out of the video. If you did, hit me up with a like and a subscribe. That'd be awesome. I'm greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.